wild so it seems like he's fine yeah so no I, surgery no nothing he is fine yeah and that that is it's what it seemed like from the start that it's, something happened in the uh the falcons game and he's got something nagging in his abdomen and, and it's a tough spot like part of your core it, it's connected to your back your yeah. abs your your glute it, it, there's a lot touching your abdomen so we don't know exactly what it is but it didn't seem like anything that was serious enough uh to to keep him out for an extended period of time my guess again if if it wasn't the panthers last week if they were playing the bucks even um, or any maybe a little stronger team, Amon St. Brown would have played. Um, I did see Brian Branch out on the field. He wasn't practicing. He was over on the side working with the trainer, going through some stretching, going through some uh, uh, different drills to to rehab rehab his uh, ankle. Um, so my gut, my guess is he would be back on Sunday. Yeah, um, I didn't see Gibbs at all though. Uh, I didn't see Jonah Jackson at all. Uh, so Ooh, that so one we'll is see. A, Jonah Jackson. And you know, I wanted to mention Jonah Jackson today. I know we're doing injury mention report. Him. Jonah Jackson doesn't get much love. He, he Jonah Jackson, you know, I just wanted to say, I thought about that driving in this morning. I was like, I just want to say Jonah Jackson's name on air today. Yeah. Because he does not get the love that he deserves. That's why it's, I try to sneak him in our all-pro conversation. Fair enough. Because I, I thought of that. I was like, Panay Sewell, Frank Ragnow, all these guys get love. Yeah. Jonah ja- Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, nothing. Um, and Jonah Jackson is going to be the next one of them to get paid. Yes, he will. And it could be a pretty hefty contract. So here's the practice report here for today on Wednesday, October 11th. Brian Branch, no practice, ankle injury. Jameer Gibbs, hamstring, no practice. Jonah ja- Jackson, looks like it's ankle, mm-hmm. no practice. Zonovan Knight, we saw him get hurt in the game, the shoulder, no practice. James Mitchell, no practice. Obviously, Mosley, well, I'm sure they're going to put him on the IR, and he'll be off this in a little bit. Yeah. Taylor Decker, limited practice still. I feel like that's fair with the ankle. Just keep healing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My guess is it's just a rest day, even though they didn't say it like they do for Frank Rag now. Yeah. I guess it's just he, – he, it was a pretty bad ankle injury, so any chance they have to just give him a day off, they're going to give it to him. Yeah, it they're not like worried about him. He's on that Frank Rag now kind of thing the yeah. rest of the season, yeah. it feels like. And that's the benefit of having these guys who've played together before. They're veteran uh, veteran offensive linemen. You don't have to worry about the communication or being ready to go mentally, yeah. physically for the game, just medically. Yes. Yeah, I like one. this one here. Yeah. Your, your guy, yes. kind of the special teams specialist. Yeah. Khalil Dorsey is back at practice day, full practice. Yes. He is back. And he's back. That is exciting to see. I'm waiting to see um, what's his name on it, man? Josh Pascal. Or yeah. just see him limited or something. Yeah, but the more we talk to Dan Campbell, I think everybody saw in his press conference, Josh Pascal, he, he's closer than, than maybe we thought when he first got hurt. We thought he was going to be out for an extended period of time. Looks like he might be back. Um, I don't know if they try to rush him back with the record as it stands right now. Do they rush him back before the bye week?